Under the Trump administration, the federal government is cracking down on eco-terrorism and being followed closely by the states. That's led to more environmental activists feeling the legal sting of consequences for tampering with the nation's fossil fuel infrastructure. Trace Gallagher is digging into the story for us tonight. Joins us live. Hey, Trace. Hi, Shannon. In an ongoing effort to stop construction of the Dakota Access Pipeline, in October 2016, five environmental activists broke into pipeline facilities in four states and shut down the valves, temporarily halting about 15 percent of U.S. oil consumption. The so-called valve turners gave themselves up and proudly confessed, saying they were trying to preserve life as we know it. Now, one of those activists, 53-year-old Michael Foster, has been given three years in prison. Here's Foster right before the sentence was handed down. Watch this. As long as the law prefers to protect that corporate property, and as long as we keep using the product coming through it, our rights to life and liberty are in danger. Today, the liberal Huffington Post described Michael Foster as a mild-mannered mental health counselor trying to avert climate disaster. Prosecutors see it differently, painting Foster and his cohorts, who have yet to be tried, as terrorists, saying that violence and vandalism are crimes, even if it's done under the cloak of environmentalism. They also point out just because nobody was injured or killed doesn't mean it couldn't have happened. Federal regulators have warned that suddenly shutting down a pipeline can, quote, have significant consequences such as death, injury, and economic and environmental harm. Eighty-four members of Congress, including four Democrats, have taken it a step further, sending a letter to Attorney General Jeff Sessions asking if pipeline saboteurs can be prosecuted as terrorists. So far, the DOJ has not responded, but there are also efforts on the state level to crack down on eco-terrorism. So while environmental activists vow to up the fight, authorities are working to up the penalties. And separately, we should note there's a new video game where players use a mythical Native American Thunderbird to damage or destroy oil and gas machinery. Not surprisingly, the game is not sitting well with supporters of the oil and gas industry. Shannon. Hmm, very interesting development. All right, Trace, thank you very much.